Good morning, everybody. So, I got asked a very interesting question yesterday by a very near and dear friend of mine who's like my little brother. And when he asked me this, it it took me back to the very beginning of my whole career. And why I have such a love for the car community and why I have such a love and a passion for racing. And he asked me, dude, why do you race? And I looked at him like, what do you mean why do I race? He's like, what makes you and drives you to want to race and be a part of the car community? And it was interesting. The way he put it was very interesting. And it made me think. So to my little brother, thank you for that question. I'll tell you guys why I race. I race for the love of the car community. I race for the sake of racing. For me, it's not about being the best in the world. It's not about winning every single race. It's to keep a community alive. It's to keep a culture that has been ingrained and my heart, my blood, and my soul alive. You see, in 2001, my older brother introduced me to the Fast and the Furious movie, which started my car love. And, you know, before he introduced me to that, you know, I grew up watching NASCAR my entire life. Then, like I said, when my older brother introduced me to the Fast and Furious movie series, that series changed my life. Because it showed me that there's more out there than just watching NASCAR on the weekends with your family. There's other types of racing out there as well. There's all kinds of passions for cars. Because see, watching the Fast and Furious movies prompted me to want to get into that culture. And I started getting into that culture in 2003 when I got my first GameCube and I had gotten Need for Speed Underground 2. Which started my love for the underground car community and for its culture. And it was through Need for Speed Underground 2 that I grew this undying passion and love for the underground car community. And yes, there were times where there were times where I have set and broken records because of my passion for the car community. I knew that that's what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to race. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but all I knew is that I wanted to do it. This is what I had my mind set on. Whether it was in real life or whether it was in video games, I knew I wanted to race. Hell, I even went to, when I was in high school, I even went to auto body shop to learn how to fabricate and paint and weld. I learned how to fabricate, you know, car parts. But it was through those movies and the Need for Speed series that sparked my love for the car community. I grew to love cars. I grew to learn that a car is an extension of who you are as a person. It don't matter whether you're driving a 100-year-old Model T Ford or... The newest and latest and greatest in technology with the Cybertruck. What matters 
is that you're showing who you are as a person with your car because your car is an extension of yourself. It don't matter whether you're driving a soccer mom van. It don't matter whether you're driving a G-Wagon. It don't matter whether you're driving a Lamborghini. When you're driving, you're keeping that culture alive in your own way and you don't even know it. Whether you're using a daily driver, whether you're doing it in video games, no matter what, you're still keeping that culture alive. But then in 2015, my older brother got cancer and died. And it was when he passed away that I realized he taught me a lot more about the car community and the car culture than I myself even would even begin to realize. And then in 2018... I got my first Xbox. After watching one of my favorite YouTubers, Slap Train, for many, many years, play games such as Need for Speed, Forza Horizons 1 through 4 at the time. And it wasn't until number 4 that I became interested in the Forza franchise. And let me tell you something, once I got hooked on the Forza franchise, there was no looking back for me. Because see, through playing the Forza series, I would not only become one of the fastest in the world, but I would also grow to make some of the closest friends that I've ever made in my life. I owe a lot of my friends that I have now to Turn 10 and Playground Games. Because of them and their game, Forza Horizon 4, I made some of the closest friends in the world that I will ever have in my life. So to answer your question, why do I drive? Why do I race? To keep my older brother's memory alive. Because a wise man once told me, and he was very right about this. A driver without a purpose has already lost. But a driver with a purpose is a dangerous driver. And it's those dangerous drivers that are usually the most passionate, that are usually the most driven, that are usually the most loyal, that are usually the most motivated. So to answer that question, why do I race? I race for my older brother and to keep his memory alive. And to keep the car community and the car culture alive. And I will continue to do so for as long as I'm able to. So my question to you guys is this. Why do you race? Why do you drive? What draws you to the car community?